I think a lot of people mistake marketing as the quote unquote fun area to be involved in. At least I've seen that often in my career. Quite a few people are like, oh, you have the fun job. Um, and there's there's a couple things that go along with that. Yes, I, I do have a great job and enjoy it thoroughly. However, what also comes with that is extremely long hours, um, nights and weekends, thinking outside of the box, always being available. Um, I think, but that's what I thrive off of. I think folks that are very uh, regimented in their thought process that are like a very normal schedule. I think that they're going to be challenged in a marketing field. I think people that want to get into marketing and or sales need to be extremely outgoing. Um, you can't be shy. You got to be able to stand in a room by yourself and, and not get nervous and, and be able to speak to other colleagues or 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 customers, or whomever that may be. One of the things, comp, biggest compliments I got when I started at Toyota was my second day on the job. We had one of our annual events. It's uh, actually quite a large dealer event, and um, it was my only second day. I knew nothing. My boss was running that event. He didn't have time for me. And at the end of the event, he came up to me, and he said, I just had, over the last two days, you know, all these car dealers, these presidents and owners and leaders in industry come up to me and say, hey, your new girl's great. He goes, you weren't shy. You were out there talking to them, and you were uh, aligning your interests with theirs, um, having conversations. And even though you didn't know anything about Scion at the time, you were out there getting them pumped up about it. So I think a lot of it is being extremely energetic, um, outgoing, not getting disgruntled when you're told no. When you're in sales, like I said before, I really believe that everyone should spend some time in sales because your entire career, if you're not going to, you're always going to be selling something. Even if you're not selling a product or a service, you're always selling yourself, at least at bare minimum in a job interview. So I think everybody needs to get very confident in that role. And I think uh, with that confidence, and that energy, you take that into all the other assets of marketing. The creativity follows. The the brainstorming with other colleagues follows. You know, you can you can work on that, and and you learn through years of experience. But I think innately, you you've got to be interested in working hard and working long hours. I mean, I think uh, not a knock to accountants or or financing folks or 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 management folks, but there's a lot of those other business departments. They, they have a much more regular schedule. They have a much more regular regimented job where they, they know what they need to come in and do every day and get it accomplished. And, uh, but I feel in marketing you need, to, you need to be a go-getter and initiate, initiate a lot of that stuff, and you're going to be working longer hours than some of those folks. And, uh, but with all that comes the rewards of, quote-unquote, having the fun job. You get to go to lots of events and see your the fruits of your labor, and that's kind of exciting. And that's what I get a kick out of, because if I was an accountant, just seeing a balanced spreadsheet wouldn't really <laughs> excite me. So this is, it's been kind of a, it's kind of a, you get to see the fruits of your labor, which is kind of nice, too.